when you're, when you're ready. My investigative question is, how are nomadic groups affected by and adapting to the current climate crisis? First off, it is important to understand what nomads are. Nomadic groups are communities of people who do not settle down in one location, but rather travel from place to place. These communities are dependent on natural resources for survival. Due to this dependency on the environment, they are susceptible to environmental changes. In the world today, climate change, keep, cli climate change keeps progressing, causing it to become disastrous for communities around the globe. This has a severe effect on nomadic groups, making it difficult for them to, to survive as they have in past years. Nomads have been forced to find ways to adapt to, their, to the climate crisis by changing their usual routines and practices. There are three different types of nomadism across the globe. Nomadic hunters and gatherers, pastoral nomads, and tinker or trader nomads. The two types of nomads most affected by climate change are the hunters and gatherers and pastors. Hunters and gatherers depend on fishing and hunting and also the foraging of wild vegetation and food for survival. Since they do not rely on agriculture, they move from place to place often, as hunting and gathering requires a large plot of land to gain enough food to survive. The Hadzabe found in living in Tanzania are one of these few groups. In recent years, they have feel, been feeling the harsh effects of climate change. Tanzania is expected to experience greater climate change impacts than some of its East African neighboring countries, such as an increase in a continual increase in temperature and also a decrease in pre precipitation up to 20%. This only causes more harm to the environment and has already altered the flora in the region and in turn the fauna, which leaves them with a far more limited variety and quantity to sustain themselves. These effects have not just harmed the Hadzabe tribe, but also other groups that practice this lifestyle. Despite climate change having severe consequences for these lifestyles, hunting and gathering groups today have found ways to adapt to their environment. For example, the Hadzabe are learning new skills to protect forests and prevent rapid environmental, rapid environmental degradation. They have, with the help from Carbon Tanzania, a company devoted to producing carbon offsets through natural forest conservation, successfully produced a carbon offset project that has allowed them to restore 90% of the land that has been encroached by livestock and farmers. This shows how when faced with serious situations that threaten their livelihood, nomadic hunters and gatherers find a way to adapt to their new environment and to ensure their survival. The next type is pastoral nomadism. Pastoral nomads depend on domesticated animals, particularly livestock, and tend to migrate from place, to, from territory to territory to find pasturage for their animals. Oftentimes, pastoral nomads travel seasonally to seek out pasturage that, for their animals that will last them through the entire season. The Maasai people are pastoral nomads that inhabit Kenya and northern parts of Tanzania. They have lived for centuries earning their livelihood from herding livestock. However, erratic weather linked to climate change has brought more severe and frequent droughts and sporadic flooding to the Maasai Mara National Reserve's fragile ecosystem. These volatile changes in the weather leave the land short of available grazing pasture, often resulting in dead livestock. The current climate crisis has left less land to support pastoral nomad livestock and the prolonged droughts and is forcing, is forcing many families into desperate situations of hunger. However, pastoral nomads have been adapting to their surroundings. The Maasai, for example, have been very resilient and adaptive to the effects of climate change. They are slowly but steadily venturing into other income gener generating activities, such as shoemaking or business enterprises, and through the help of through the support of organizations such as AMRA, communities are able are being supported with irrigation and alternative livelihood projects like beekeeping and farming. When pastures are destroyed by droughts or floods, these extra sources of income helps these communi communities to survive. With the help from the nonprofit organization WWM Kenya, some pastoral nomads 
nomad communities are trying to adapt by reducing their herds of livestock and introducing new breeds to, that are more resilient to, to drought. These new ideas and in, uh, innovations show the adaptability of pastoral nomads and how when faced with challenges, they persevere and find a way to survive along with them. The image migrant mother taken by Dorothea Lang during the Great Depression ties into the adaptability of nomads. The mother in the image, Florence Owens Thompson, was a migrant farm worker who traveled from place to place with her family in search of work during the Great Depression. This has a direct relation to nomadism because she traveled from one, one place to the other to find work in the harsh environment that existed at the time. This shows how this shows the challenges faced by nomads and how they have to find a way to adapt and survive in their harsh climates, whether it be environmental, economic, social, or political. Through Julia Watson's TED Talk on how to build a resilient future using ancient wisdom, she talks about many different communities living in remote places on Earth, and how when faced with extreme weather conditions, they find ways to adapt using the natural world around them. For example, the Kasi people living in India when faced with flooding due to, the, due to the monsoon season, use bridges they have weaved from the roots of trees to travel from one village to the other to avoid this flooding. This is just one example of the many groups using the environment to adapt to the harsh weather conditions. These ancient technologies from civilizations have made it possible for nomadic societies to create shelters and ideas that protect them from the elements and to adapt when they move from one place to the other. These, nomad these ancient technologies have taught them to adapt to their changing environmental conditions. Some of the best ways to support nomadic groups are through nonprofit organizations. These groups have been helping both through new innovative ideas and providing resources, resources many different communities to adapt to the, climate, to the changing climate. Through continued support from these organizations, nomadic, nomadic groups around the world will continue to survive. Another vital solution to alleviate the effects of climate change is to change the mentality of people, um, to change the mentality of people across the globe. Spreading awareness about the detrimental effects of climate change has had, not only on the environment, but the people dependent on it, is vital to start taking action to reverse the effects of the climate. The benefits, the benefits of the solution is that organizations assist nomadic communities in finding smart ways to adapt to worsening weather conditions, and that if we spread awareness, people would lessen their impact on the environment when taking a deeper look into the effects that their actions have on the world around them. This solution, however, comes with its limitations. For example, when nonprofits lent a hand to the Maasai tri tribe, people were turning to businesses and making goods to ensure their survival, instead of sticking to their usual lifestyle showing how some nomadic groups can lose their traditional ways of life because of this climate change and because of these solutions. Another limitation is that spreading awareness is not always entirely effective. People may not care that much about climate change or some people may think it very inconvenient and expensive to think, in a more, think and act in a more sustainable way. Although there might be a downside to this solution, these are great first steps to reversing the impact the global community has had on nomadic societies around the globe. I'll soundtrack in more applause. Uh, a couple of questions. Um, how did your research question evolve as you moved through the research process? At first, my question was, what effect does climate change has on the, have on the state and adaptation of wildlife? But as I researched, I realized that I wanted to choose a more specific topic and research the impacts of climate change on human societies. This led me to think of nomads because since they travel so often, I knew that they must be affected by, greatly by climate change because of their dependency on the environment. This led me to change my question to how are nomadic groups affected by and adapting to the current climate crisis? Okay, thank you. Uh, one more question. Um, what additional questions emerged from your research and why are those questions important? Some additional questions that emerged from my research were if nomadic groups' adaptation leads to losing some of their traditional culture. 
these questions are very important for this topic because it delves deeper into how how nomadic communities are affected by climate change and how, as the temperature keeps riding, rising and more erratic weather keeps occurring, the more and more these groups of people lose their traditional ways of life that they have been practicing for past several generations.